If you're new to using mixed banjo rolls, let me show you some great patterns you can work on and exercises to develop your technique. So we're just going to start on the top three strings again. And remember with all the roll techniques I'm showing you, there are so many applications. You can use this on any set of strings, all kinds of different chords, any key. But what we really want to focus on right now is learning what's the picking hand pattern. What's going on with the pattern there? Okay, so remember a mixed roll is like this. I'm going to just use the top three strings of an E major chord. Thumb, middle, index. That's all, it, all that is to it. Thumb, middle, index. Thumb, middle, index. So you want to take any chord you want, something that's easy to play in the left hand. You could even play open strings or muffle the strings. And you want to work on just getting a nice, smooth rhythm going, nice and even with that mixed roll. Thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one. Okay, eventually you want to speed it up. You could then, once you get the pattern memorized, you could maybe practice changing through a few basic chords like E, A, B7, E. Okay, I just went E. This is the upper, upper three strings of an E major, the upper three strings of an A major, then the upper three strings of playing like a B7 back to E. So you might try that on the top three strings first. Then maybe you take the same thing, move it down a set of strings. So now I'm going to have the middle on the second string, index on the third string, thumb on the fourth string. play around with which set of strings you're on. One thing that's true as well is you could you could practice different spacings of your fingers. You don't always have to have thumb, index, and middle on adjacent strings. For any of the patterns, this is actually true. Forward roll, backward roll, mixed roll like we're doing now. You could play around with the spacing a bit of your fingers. Right? So I might go... still doing a mixed roll, thumb 2, 1, thumb 2, 1. I'm just experimenting with where I'm spacing out my fingers, and that's something that's great to practice with all of your roll techniques. Now we're going to look at what's very common is to take that mixed roll, thumb 2, 1, and use it in a, a bigger pattern. This is where the mixed roll is probably used the most, is within a larger pattern. So I'm going to show you a few patterns to practice. Okay, the first one here I'm just going to go back to my, my E major chord, top three strings. Because we really want to focus on the picking hand right now. So there's two variations of this first pattern. We're going to start with the thumb. Now the index finger. So thumb, index, and then we're going to do two mixed rolls. Thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one. So we'll have this much. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. That's the pattern. It's a one bar pattern. And if I count the rhythm, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Then we would loop that. So I'm going to just loop that pattern a few times in a row. It's a nice one bar pattern. I'm just playing nice, even, straight eighth notes right now. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You could do the same thing. You could take a series of chords and practice the pattern. Don't change the pattern. 
but change your chord with it. So I'm just going to do a simple E, A, B7 again, back to E. Okay, you could try different sets of strings that you're doing that on. Maybe you do the second, third, fourth string. You can play around with which set of strings are you on. You can even experiment with the spacing, but that's the basic pattern. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. That's the one bar pattern. Now a slight variation to that, almost the same thing, is in the very beginning of the pattern we go thumb, middle. Instead of thumb, index to start it off, we're going thumb, middle, and then two of our backward rolls. So here's the variation. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. So a little faster. I'm going to loop that. One, two, three, four. So this is a very commonly used pattern when I listen to Jerry Reed and he plays tunes like Jerry's Breakdown, um, tunes like one of his called The Mad Russian. He's using this pattern all the time and I hear Chet Atkins use this exact pattern all the time as well. I've heard Tommy Emanuel tunes that use this same similar pattern. Now I'm going to show you how to use that pattern on four strings next and I'll show you one little exercise you can practice as well. So I'm going to take again just an E chord. <laughs> You could play the whole thing, but I'm just using the top four strings only. That's why I'm only fretting the top four strings. So it's the same thing we just did, but we're going to split our fingers up over four strings. So middle finger on the first string, index finger on the second string. Here's the pattern. Thumb, index. So thumb on the fourth string, index on the second string. Now move your thumb up to the third string, and you're going to do two of the mixed rolls. Thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one. Still a one bar pattern. One, and two, and three, and four, and. A little faster. You could take it to a different set of strings. Any set of strings you want. And I really encourage you to practice different sets of strings. Stick with one chord for now to where you can really play it by memory. Clean and accurate, slow tempos, medium tempos, fast tempos with that picking hand. Um, being really clean and accurate first before moving on. Now, one final exercise to give you is kind of a simple thing where we take thirds, third intervals in the key of E. So check out my left hand here. Sort of a harmonized E major scale. And we practice those intervals along with our mixed banjo roll pattern, okay? And this will be a little bit of a break for your ear if you've only been practicing it with one chord. So I'm just gonna take a one bar on each chord like this. So that's one and two and three and four and. Now I'm gonna move up to the next shape. Open first and second string for all of this. Then move up to the next shape. Again, move up. Keep going. You would also want to practice it descending. Now, when I was demonstrating that, I had a pause between each chord. When we really go to, to practice this and perform it, 
we don't want to have a pause. We want it to be nice and even and steady all the way through. So I'm going to just play that same pattern. I'm going to move all the way up and all the way down with those third intervals from E. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... you can work it up faster. Okay, now it doesn't only work in the key of E, but that's a great exercise because fairly simple fingerings on the left hand, and the key is that you keep your pattern going. Because as you move forward with this technique and all banjo roll techniques, you go to play tunes, a lot of times we're just repeating a pattern over and over and over in order to make the picking hand as efficient as possible. Okay, so spend some time practicing those techniques and you're going to see them show up again when we look at the etude that we're going to work on coming up next.